is Hobbs Ginsburg. I live in LA and I'm a photographer and filmmaker, sometimes model, artist person. I work a lot within like a studio environment and kind of creating these semi-elaborate like setups of like very colorful sort of poppy imagery and through that I've kind of been known for working a lot in self-portraiture, working a lot with like this kind of new wave of still life imagery. I've like kind of taken a step back a little bit for a bit and sort of dove head first into making films and that's kind of taken a lot of different avenues as I'm sort of exploring what it means to like make movies. I did my second short film ever, but the first one that actually like amounted to anything called All Encompassing and Everywhere, and it was kind of a story that I feel like reflects a lot of what I want to go for when it comes to making actual narrative movies. The stuff that's very interesting to me is doing these kind of stories about people who are, I don't know, maybe feeling a little bit lost or down, but doing it in a way that's like visually striking. I co-founded a production company called Red Lighter Films with my girlfriend Chloe Feller and so sort of bred from that desire to create more stimulating roles for women and for marginalized communities, non-binary people, queer people, people of color, etc, etc, giving them roles that are complex and nuanced and human and fair and interesting and kind of realizing that if that's the kind of content we want to see and we want to make then it's up to us to like make that happen. Um, I feel like being a non-binary artist and being a trans femme non-binary artist person, especially right now kind of one of the biggest things that there's to deal with I guess is you know everyone's talking about this like trans moment. I feel like as much as people want to like appear in solidarity with this new thing that's happening and you know say look we love all these new trans young people who are like making really cool art and like doing all these really cool things and changing the world and blah 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 when it comes down to actually giving these artists real tangible opportunities real tangible jobs real tangible things that can improve their lives in actual ways I feel like everybody falls short on that and like I think whether it's consciously or unconsciously the people who are in charge of making those decisions are not seeing and treating non-binary artists in the same way. So in dealing with representation of marginalized communities, marginalized bodies, it's equally if not more so important to have those opportunities for them to be able to tell their own stories and for them to be behind the camera as well. I feel like having trans filmmakers to me is more revolutionary, more important, something I'd rather be seeing more of than having trans subjects who are written for, directed by, shot by a bunch of cis white people. And so with Red Lighter, you know, with myself as a filmmaker doing that, but also if we're trying to tell a story about a certain, you know, people with certain mental illnesses or people within certain race groups or people with any kind of specific story, we're not just casting those people in front of the camera, but we're also bringing those people in on every level of the production in order to make sure that they're being able to craft their own narrative, that it's being told in a way that is empowering, and that we're creating opportunities and giving the voice and giving the credit to those who deserve it.